Welcome back all the fans and followers of space fiction. In my previous videos I said that a rotating space station cannot change the direction of its axis or it would become unstable. I was wrong. Well, not completely. Yes, a simple rotating space station really becomes unstable if you try to change the orientation of its axis. However, there is a simple solution that allows the rotating space station to change direction without destabilizing it. This solution therefore allows even spaceship to contain a rotating part with artificial gravity and still be able to change the direction of the flight at will. And there will be no destabilization of the axis of rotation. Do you know how? The solution is two counter-rotating rings. However, they must meet several conditions. They must have a common axis of rotation and must have the same orbital angular momentum but in the opposite direction. Among other factors, the momentum is influenced by the weight of the given ring and the speed of its rotation. So ideally, they should be the same size, the same weight and rotate at the same speed. And why is such a solution stable? The momentum of rotation of two counter-rotating rings cancels each other. Thus when the orientation of the axis is changed, its precession does not occur. This solution has several advantages. The space station or spaceship will be stable. It can change its direction and the direction of the axis of rotation. This solution makes it possible to start the rotation using only electromagnets without using rocket engines. Thus it will have no effect on the fuel consumption required for maneuvering. But of course it also has its disadvantages. The structure will be under great stress and there is a risk of rapid wear of the mechanical parts of the station. Two large counter-rotating rings would be a major risk to smaller spacecrafts during landing on the space station. It will be impossible or very difficult to move yourself from one rotating ring to another. This problem could only be avoided if both rings were located in a one hermetically sealed cylinder. But in that case we would be quite limited in size. And probably the biggest problem is the change in the weight of the individual rings. This can happen for example by the arrival of the crew or by loading or unloading the cargo. This would be a big problem with smaller ring sizes. However, for large and heavy stations where the weight of crew and cargo would be negligible compared to the weight of the entire station, this would not be a problem. Ideally, only one ring would be inhabited and the other would be uninhabited only for technical purposes, for scientific experiments or as storage space. At the same time, the uninhabited ring could contain a system for pumping liquid from the axle to the ring which would allow balancing the weight of the rings. Such a system would then be able to ensure that both rings have the same mass and therefore the same orbital angular momentum. In the case of space station, the uninhabited ring could also contain all the solar cells and thus provide electricity for the station. It would then not have to have large and relatively vulnerable solar panels. In the case of interplanetary spaceship, the uninhabited ring could also serve as a shield that would protect the inhabited part from the impact of small space objects. So I believe that many of these problems can be solved. And speaking of spaceship, let's not forget. If you want to help me so that I can finally build my own spaceship, click subscribe and support me on Patreon on the link in description. Thank you for watching and the next time I fly by the Earth, 
I will send you another new video from the world of space fiction.